So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Grace. Toastmaster members and most welcome guests. Last weekend, one of my friends asked me, why girls are so hard to please? We try to do lots of things to let the girls happy, but the girls don't really appreciate what he had done. Every day we choose to love and we choose not to love. We choose to love others in a way they can receive and in a way they can barely receive. There are five kinds of love languages. The love languages refer to the way people can receive their love and the way they express their love. The first kind of love language is the word of assurance. People of this kind of love language, they like you to encourage them. They like to say, oh, you are so great, you are so good. Every time you say, oh, you do a good job, but if you do what, you will be better. They don't feel like you really love them. They like you to encourage them. The second kind of love language is the quality time. They like you to pay your full attention to them. Every time they ask you to do something for them, they like you to put down what you are doing right now and really pay attention to them. Even you just sit beside them, they like it. They, they like that because they think that you really care about them. And the third kind of love language is, is giving gifts. Every time you give them a little gift or some surprises, they think that, oh, you really like them. When you go, um, go after work and you stop by a store and see something, they might like it and buy it home. They think, oh, you really care about me. When you pass through the things, you see, oh, maybe she will like it and buy it back. They think you uh, you pop up in their minds very often, so they like it. And the fourth kind of love, that the fourth is the uh, courtier service. They like you to do things for them. Maybe you can just do the laundries or wash the dishes. They feel like, oh, you love them. You want to do service. So they feel like being loved. And the fifth kind is the physical context. They like you to hug them. And every, like mom and children, some kind of this kind of children, if you ho uh, hug them very often, they feel they are being loved by the parents. But if you um, beat the children very often, and they feel, oh, mom and dad don't like me. Every time they just beat me, they don't like me. So the friend I mentioned about that he tried to do lots of things to the girls, to please the girls. The girls don't really receive it, maybe not because the girls don't like him, but just because he showed his love through the wrong way. The girls appreciate other things. So let's imagine a wife. She likes to have quality time with her husband and she prepare a cup of hot tea in the living room and say, honey, let's go um, share our life together. And the, uh, her husband, with the love language of, of courteous service, he say, honey, just wait a minute. The, we have to do the uh, dishes. The dishes need to be done. Let me help you with this first. And he go to wash the dishes. He, he felt like he's showing his love to her, 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 his wife. And after a while, uh, his wife said, honey, are you done yet? The, uh, the tea is already getting cold. Let's talk. And her husband said, just wait a minute. Let me do the laundry. The laundry is getting ready. We have to do all of this before we go to bed. Okay, and after a while, keep going on. The, the husband think that he is showing his love toward her, his wife. But the wife finally say, okay, never mind. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't have a kind of feeling anymore. Because the wife want is not what his, her, uh, her husband to do all the housework for her. What the, husband real, uh, how, what the wife really wants is the husband to share some quality time with her, to talk with her, to, sh uh, to share every high and lows in, her, in both lives. Um, let's take another example. There is one parent really think, okay, I want to buy all the fancy gifts to the children. I want to show my life through buying lots of gifts. I work hard. Everything is just to provide a best life for the children and her wife. But sometimes maybe the children or the wife don't think that, OK, you, you make lots of money. It's really showing love to our family. What we want is that you, sh uh, you care about us. Maybe once in a while you'll bring, out, bring us out for doing something to very pay your attention to our family 
but not just making money all the time. So there are lots of ways people show love and they receive love. And the feeling of being loved is one of the fundamental needs people have. That means not only you have to love your family, but also you have to make your love be known. You can't just talk about love, but rather put your love into action. Expressing your love doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to get to the point. So let's figure out the love language of our beloved ones and start to express love in a way that they can really receive. Okay, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Grace, for spreading the love. Could I just add another love language? I think that's loving yourself. <laughs> because I, a lot of people, especially in the Chinese society, we like, we know we have duties to the family, we have duties to our husband or our wives, we have duties to friends, the company, but sometimes we forget about ourselves. So I like to add loving ourselves. 